Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are talking about ways to increase your credit scores and keep it that way. Very easy steps, I'll go through it with you. I am your host for the Daily Dose, Ernest Seaster. Let's get into the channel, shall we? So, steps to improve your credit scores. And um, try to improve it in the best way possible in, a, in the least amount of time. So I know you guys, times are valuable, definitely in the uh, ways that uh, we're living now in, in this pandemic, you don't want to be left behind. And I know some goals that you guys would like to achieve. So we're gonna work it out for you. Now when um, improving your credit score, some factors that I said, some steps that we're gonna follow. Step number one, being pay your bills on time very important guys pay your bills on time see when lenders review your credit report and they request a credit score they're very interested in how reliable you are in paying down your debt paying down your bills that's because the payment uh, performance is usually considered a good uh, predictor of future performance so if they see that you're paying good on um, creditors or bills in the past and the present they're likely to give you more of a bigger loan for the future. So that could go towards your um, your home, your car, or um, anything else you decide to finance. So the big thing is definitely pay your bills on time. I suggest even setting up with like an auto pay to um, help you guys out if you feel like you're not the type of person that can keep up to date or keep track of your your spending or paying things. Set them auto pay, very easy. All the pay, you don't have to worry about it. Number two, uh, you have to get credit for making like utility and cell phone payments on time. That's like the, one of the easiest things. Experian does a great job of doing with the Experian Boost, where it allows you to uh, get credit for the things that you're already paying for, like uh, utilities, gas, electric, cable bill, sometimes even rent. So if you're going, if you're already paying for it, might as get credit for it, right? So definitely uh, take advantage of that and um, see if you can get uh, the boost for anything you're already paying for, like your utilities. Number three, pay off debt and keep balances low. Uh, what I'm referring to is paying off debt, keeping balances low on credit cards and other revolving credit. These are things that are already reporting every month and if you happen to max them out, they're going to affect you, like the credit utilization ratio. Uh, that's, that's another important number in credit score calculations. Uh, it is calculated by adding all of your credit card balances, and if any given time, and then dividing that amount by your total credit limit. For example, if say if you typically had charge about two thousand each month, and your total credit limit across your all of your cars is ten thousand. Well, your utilization based on the math will be at a twenty percent. So, um, you don't want to go over thirty, but I tell people just keep it at twenty, twenty and below. Um, that way, you give yourself a little cushion. And you know for a fact you're not going to be affected by um, a credit score decrease. So, uh, some things to keep in mind. Um, some ways to. Um, to influence your uh, that influences your credit utilization ratio is like I said you paying off your debt keeping your credit card balance low you can even become an authorized user on another person's account as long as they use the credit responsibly you don't want to be authorized user on somebody who's um, in a bad situation or worse situation than you are you know and um, I even offer authorized user trade lines under my uh, business eg credit repair service so if you if, if you need an authorized account and you can't ask a friend or family member you know reach out to us at egcreditrepairservice.com uh, we're on facebook as well as instagram and we'll love to hear from you guys we'll help you guys out and as always if you want to remove any type of collection charge off bankruptcies reach out to me we'll help you out uh, number four on our step 
is apply for or open a new credit account, but only as needed. We don't want to, um, you to have a bunch of inquiries that also can affect your score. So don't open an account just to have a better credit mix. You, um, it probably won't improve your credit score overall. So unnecessary credit can harm your credit score in multiple ways. So um, I can't harp on that enough. So you don't want just to apply for anything and affect your credit score. So you want to be mindful of that. Um, be mindful of which cars or which accounts you are applying for because they do have an effect on your credit score. So keep that in mind because too many hard inquiries on your credit report Though it may be tempting when, you know, you get that letter in the mail and they say you're pre-approved. You know, I'm telling you to resist temptation. If you don't need it, don't get it. <laughs> and um, just keep your account, you know, just away from all those bad inquiries that all them bad temptations that want to draw you in. So you're good. You stay away from that. Number five, don't close unused credit cards. And I know that um, some people are trying to repair their credit and they feel like, well, you know, I'm tired, you know, being in the rat race where I got to pay the credit cards down and I'm getting charged for this and that. I'm just going to pay it off and close it. You don't want to do that. See, keeping unused credit cards open, as long as they're not causing you uh, money like annual fees, is a smart strategy, actually. So when you close an account, that may increase your credit utilization ratio, which... Uh, it's going to lower your score so and as well as your payment history that payment history goes away when you close that card so you don't want to do that so owning the same amount but having fewer open accounts may lower your credit score so you don't you really want to be mindful on what you pay for and which accounts that you actually close for good because when you close that account like I said that takes away that history of that uh, account you've been paying on and it lowers your score even more. So you don't want to do that. So and then, then when you start opening a new account, that's going to affect your credit mix. So um, be smart about that, guys. Uh, my number six, don't apply for too much new credit, resulting in multiple inquiries. And you may look at, if you're like me, I, I check my credit report um, daily just to see if anything happens, see if, if I missed anything, if I missed an alert. Um, what, you, what I'm referring to is opening a new credit card can increase your overall credit limit, but the act of applying for credit creates like a hard inquiry as well on your credit report. So too many of those can negatively affect your credit score. And we don't want that. So through this effect, um, will fade over time, hard inquiry remain on your report for at least two to seven years. It just depends on the report. So, um, we don't want to get that. I know if some of you guys, if y'all apply for a car note, uh, auto loan, they seem to run your credit report a thousand times. So you look at your report, you see all these inquiries. And um, some of them may not fall over two years. But EG Credit Repair Service, we can knock that off for you. We can remove all the inquiries, make sure that um, they don't take advantage of you. So if you're having problems with inquiries and they're on your report, please reach out to me and we'll get that removed for you ASAP. You can visit us at egcreditrepairservice.com. EG we'll help you out. All right, and number seven, my final one. Dispute any inaccuracies on your credit report. That's what I'm saying, that you have to always check your report daily to find out what's going on and if you see anything that doesn't seem right, because it is um, different now during this pandemic, it's a lot of theft. And a lot of people are trying to get advantage, take advantage of you. So if you see anything that doesn't make sense on a report, please report it. Write a letter in. And uh, you want to like check the all, through all three credit bureaus. You have your TransUnion, you have your Equifax, and you have Experian. You want to check all of them and make sure that what's on there is correct. If there's any inaccuracies, any incorrect information on your credit report, uh, that could drag your score down. So you want to verify that account is indeed accurate. If it's not, then you know you could dispute it. And again, at EG Credit Repair Service, we would love to dispute it for you. We'll help you out. Uh, we, we have um, cleared multiple um, inaccuracies from people's reports. So all you have to do is just, uh, go to their website, fill out a consultation form. Someone will reach out to you. And we'll, uh, we'll get the ball rolling for you. Now, 
one question I ever want to hear like how long how long does it take once I clear everything I paid off my down my debt how long does it take for me to reach that score that I want well it depends uh, if you have negative information on your credit report, such as late payments, public record item, like bankruptcies, or too many inquiries, um, it could take a while. So, you know what I mean? As long as you're paying your bills on time, uh, I'll say give it about three months. Um, that way you're reporting a good history, a good um, flow, a good um, pattern of you paying things on time for three months. That's just start building your credit and start increasing it as um you know, it builds up that type of history that allows the bureaus to see that you're doing good on their end. So, I say, as long as you're doing good, do give it three months. If it's something big and huge, it could take longer. But again, um, at EG Credit Repair Service, we can remove all things from you. So, if you guys think this is on the report, it's been on it for a while, definitely buy the Fair uh, Credit Reporting Act. If it's not, if it's past its limit, and a lot of these uh, reports that we notice are past where they need to be on the report, we can get that removed off for you in no time. But we're here to help you guys out. Information, guys, online is, you know, is free, so it definitely educate yourself on what credit repair is, what credit scores is, and what to look for. And I want you guys to take advantage of um, a debt-free life. I want you guys to be able to buy a home, be able to, because, you know, I'm speaking for all people, you know, that's the ultimate goal, the ultimate um, biggest purchase you ever make in your life is buying a home, and uh, I want you guys to, you know, reach that goal. I think you really, I know that you can do it. So, you know, I'm going to get off my soapbox here, but definitely thank you guys for listening. And like again, if you have any um, issues that you want to know more, you can always reach out to me, comment below, um, reach out to our website at www.egcreditrepairservice.com. If you have um, collections, you have charge-offs, bankruptcies, student loans that you need to be worked on, we can help you guys out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the alert button below. And you'll see any, uh, you'll be notified of any new videos that we decide to post. And um, I look forward to hearing you guys. I'll see you guys soon. This has been your Daily Dose with Ernest Easter. You guys have a great morning and great day.